In the last video, we created an event hub namespace followed by an event hub instance. Now, this would enable real time data capture and then, or events capture, and then we are going to create an streaming analytics which is going to enable uh, data movement to data lake as well as a real time monitoring on Power BI. So, uh, I'm doing a project here which is going to help you create streaming analytics, link it with Event Hub, and then simulate an IoT data, a sensor data, which would then be monitored at uh, the Power BI end. Let me, let me show you an end-to-end, -end. but for now, uh, we are gonna focus on streaming analytics creation. So, go to the uh, Azure portal and uh, create a new resource, which is going to be Internet of Things again, a streaming analytics job. So let's create it. Enter job name. You say my uh, streaming analytics. Select a resource group. Select a number of streaming units. Uh, just say one. Just keep it to minimal. And click on create. I'm not going to create it now because I already have it created. But uh, you can uh, you can create it. So once you create it. Uh, there is a streaming analytics job which will be available and my streaming analytics job is what we just created or you created and then uh, click on this one when you open this this is how it's going to look like on the top you would see all the subscription information which I'm not going to show you right now and then uh, you would see inputs and outputs now click on inputs to understand what all inputs can be there Click on add stream input, you can see event hub. You have to configure this event hub to the hub which was created in the previous video. You can also have IoT hub as well as blob storage, but I'm just going to focus on event hub for now. So you have SA input, the source is a stream and uh, the source type is event hub. So anything which is coming from event hub is going to go as input to streaming analytics. Now let's take a look at uh, the outputs. So if you have output, you can see that I have output for data lake store and Power BI. So coming back to the diagram, you have data lake store and then uh, so this here and to Power BI as an output. So input is event hub, output is data lake and Power BI. Now, how you can add that is click on this one. It will allow you to even send it to another event hub or SQL database or blob storage, table storage, service bus, Cosmos DB, Power BI, Data Lake, or Azure function. So I'm using these two, Power BI and Data Lake store. Once you configure the Data Lake, it's going to ask you to uh, put in the name of the data lake as well as the folder where you want to store it and then Power BI would be uh, you know the Power BI instance which you're going to use the online service it's not how uh, it may not work on a desktop probably it does but it has a different method so to start on Power BI it has to be the Power BI online service where you need to configure it uh, let me just show you really quickly the data lake store so in the data lake store, put the output alias. Uh, I just put ADL. You can put anything here. You select the subscription account name, which is the data lake account name, uh, path. So create a folder in the data lake and put a path here. And just keep it everything default and say authorize. As soon as you say authorize, it's going to give you an authentication to you the authentication to streaming analytics job to use your data lake for writing the files now let's do it for power bi in power bi what it does is uh, put an output alias i said power bi new one you can put anything power bi new two or power bi one two whatever the number is put a data set name and then put a table name so this data set would be created in the Power BI. Let me show you 
in Power BI in just a moment, and then the table name, which is going to be available. Click on Authorize. While clicking Authorize, it's going to ask you to enter user ID and password for your Power BI account. It can be free account as well. It's going to work. I have my free account, which is working. And uh, then you're all set. So let me show you the, the data set and the table name, which it creates. So this is the data set in Power BI, AA Power BI new underscore streaming, which is going to be created uh, in the Power BI. And then you can use this data set I'm going to show you uh, to create a dashboard. But for now, let's go back to the Azure. 